Hey everybody, guess what? It is the one year anniversary of my ownership of the mighty Chang Li. A brand new electric car has just been launched in China and it costs less than the price of a smartphone flagship or a basic motorcycle in many countries. Imagine a four wheeled electric vehicle with air conditioning, metal body construction, and even solar panels on the roof, all for around $2,000. Sounds impossible, right? Yet this little machine has shocked the auto industry to its core. The question now is, could this tiny car be the spark that flips the global EV market upside down? Stay with me, because by the end of this video, you'll see how one tiny, almost toy-like SUV could shake giants like Tesla, BYD, and even traditional automakers to their foundations. When the Changli Mini EV hit the market, the internet went wild. People couldn't believe it. How is this possible? They asked. A car with four wheels, air conditioning, and solar charging for just $2,000? Some dismissed it as a gimmick. What everyone agreed on, however, was this. Chang Li had done something no one else dared to do. Let's start with the design. At first glance, it looks like a mini SUV. It's small perfect for weaving through congested streets and parking in spaces where a normal car wouldn't fit. But despite its size, four adults can fit inside comfortably. Unlike the cheap three-wheel EVs you often see in developing markets, this one has four wheels, giving it much better stability and balance. The higher seating position gives drivers a better view of the road, something even bigger SUVs try to sell as a premium feature. And here's where it gets interesting. While many would expect plastic panels to cut costs, Chang Li actually uses a metal body. That means it can take minor bumps and scrapes without falling apart. It's not built to crash through highways at 120 kilometers per hour, but for city driving, it's surprisingly durable. Even small touches add to its mini SUV feel roof rails, slightly raised ground clearance, and multiple color options that make it look more premium than its price tag suggests. Inside, you won't find luxury leather seats or giant infotainment screens, but what you do get is a functional, simple, and comfortable cabin. Basic controls, straightforward dashboard, and enough room to make it feel like a real car, not a toy. For just $2,000, that's already impressive. But let's dig deeper. What about the engine, battery, and real-world performance? In any electric car, the motor and battery define its soul. This mini EV doesn't pack a monstrous Tesla-like motor, but instead a compact, efficient setup. Its top speed? Around 30 to 40 kilometers per hour. Now, before you laugh, remember, this car isn't built for highways. It's meant for short commutes, city traffic, school runs, grocery trips, and daily errands. For that purpose, 30 to 40 kilometers per hour is more than enough. Powering this is a three to four kilowatt hour lithium ion battery pack. That's tiny compared to the 100 kilowatt hour batteries in Tesla models, but here's the magic. On a single charge, it delivers a range of 50 to 70 kilometers. Charging? Plug it into a regular home socket. And within six to eight hours, it's ready to go. Basically, leave it charging overnight. And in the morning, it's set for the day. But here's where things get groundbreaking. It also has a solar panel on the roof. No, it won't fully charge the battery on sunlight alone, but it adds eight to 10 kilometers of free range daily. Imagine leaving your car parked outside during work hours, and by evening, it's got enough extra juice for another short trip. Free energy, directly from the sun. Even more practical, the battery is removable. Live in a tight apartment where charging outside isn't possible? Just pull the battery out, take it upstairs, and charge it like a laptop. That one feature alone solves one of the biggest hurdles of EV adoption. Let's be clear. For $2,000, you're not getting airbags, lane assist, or advanced crash avoidance systems. But safety hasn't been ignored entirely. The metal frame gives it durability far beyond the flimsy plastic-bodied three-wheelers. It comes with disc brakes in the front, 
and drum brakes in the rear enough stopping power for city speeds. The lighting system includes LED headlights, taillights, and indicators, ensuring visibility at night. And because it's small and lightweight, it's naturally less prone to dangerous high-speed crashes. Durability-wise, it's been engineered for longevity. The motor and battery are built for low-maintenance use, and the body is coated against rust from rain, sun, and dust. If treated well, this little EV can last years without major repair costs. Here's where it blows everything else out of the water. Let's compare fuel costs. A traditional petrol car costs 7 to 10 rupees per kilometer, or equivalent in other currencies. This EV, between 70 pays to 1 rupee per kilometer, thanks to cheap electricity and solar top-ups. That means a monthly fuel bill of 60 to 80 dollars with petrol can drop to just 6 to 8 dollars with this EV. On top of that, no oil changes, no engine maintenance, no exhaust systems, no fuel filters. It's pure simplicity. For many households, this difference alone could justify the purchase. Imagine saving thousands every year on fuel and maintenance. This is where the Changli really shines. Think about it. For the cost of a decent smartphone, you can own a fully functional four-wheeled electric car. Other brands charge tens of thousands for electric SUVs. But here, a working class family, a student, or even a retiree can actually afford an EV. It's not trying to be a luxury brand. It's not trying to compete with Tesla's futuristic designs. Instead, it positions itself as a reliable, affordable companion for everyday life. The target market is crystal clear. Small cities and towns, where traffic is lighter, speeds are lower, and parking space is limited. Villages, where fuel costs are high, and cheap charging is a blessing. Delivery workers, groceries, small packages, local errands, it's cheap, reliable, and weather protected. Students, retirees, housewives, anyone with short daily travel needs. It's not just a car, it's a solution for millions of people who never thought owning an EV was possible. When this car launched, it wasn't just China that paid attention. Clips of it went viral across TikTok, YouTube, and Facebook. Auto forums exploded with debates. Was it a scam? Was it real? Could something this cheap actually work? Experts began calling it the most surprising EV launch of the year. And while skeptics pointed out its limitations, almost everyone admitted one thing. This car has opened the door to a new era of ultra-affordable EVS. Currently, it's sold mainly in China. But insiders suggest Chang Li is eyeing expansion into Asia, Africa, and South America regions where fuel prices are crushing and incomes are lower. If it passes international safety standards, Europe and the Middle East may follow. If that happens, the ripple effect could be massive. Remember when Chinese smartphones disrupted the global market? This could be the automotive equivalent. Tesla, BYD, Tata, MG, they've focused on mid to high-end EVs. But this car exposes a blind spot, the ultra-low-cost segment. If consumers begin flocking to affordable EVS, big companies will either need to slash prices or risk losing huge markets. This is more than just a car, it could be the beginning of an EV revolution for the masses. One standout feature deserves a spotlight, the solar panel. It might look like a gimmick, but its impact is real. By adding even just 8 to 10 kilometers of free range daily, it extends battery life, reduces charging frequency, and lowers electricity bills. For someone with short commutes, they might rarely need to plug it in at all. Think about the bigger picture. A world where cars quietly charge themselves while sitting in the sun. No petrol stations. No waiting at charging stations. Just energy from the sky. It's a small step, but it's pointing us toward a future where cars are truly independent from the grid. Now here's where I want your thoughts. Imagine this. A car cheaper than most motorcycles. A car that charges itself from sunlight. A car with air conditioning low running costs, and practicality for everyday life. Would you buy it? Do you believe this is the true future of automobiles? Or do you think something this cheap must come with hidden trade-offs?
And if you had the chance, which color would you choose for your Changli Mini EV? Because one thing's for sure, whether you love it or doubt it, this little $2,000 EV has already made the giants of the auto industry very, very nervous.